Tonight, day three of testimony just wrapping up in the federal hate crimes trial for the man who killed Ahmaud Arbery. CBS 46's Haley Mason spent the day in the courtroom. She's live in Brunswick. Haley, what's the latest? Sean, it's been a very emotional couple days inside that courtroom here in Brunswick. Jurors not only still processing, hearing a lot of racial slurs all day yesterday. Today, they're presented with very graphic autopsy photos as the medical examiner took the stand. One juror asked the court, does the federal government have resources to offer us counseling? The judge said yes. Seems like every morning is the hard ones, right? For a second day, the Department of Justice brought in witnesses to speak to apparent racist motivations behind the killing of Ahmaud Arbery. I feel bad for my family to keep seeing all this devastating stuff that they, they did to my, my boy. First on stand, Glenn County Officer Robert Rash testifying that multiple white residents and visitors in Satilla Shores had been known to commit crimes, from drugs to breaking into cars. Rash testified, however, that Greg McMichael only inquired about Arbery, despite seeing a white couple also enter the home under construction. Officer Rash said he sent this text to homeowner Larry English, suggesting he call Greg McMichael because McMichael had law enforcement training. Rash says he only thought McMichael would call police, not chase Arbery himself with a gun. Later, jurors watched video of William Roddy Bryan interviewing with police. He saw the McMichaels yelling after a running Arbery and decided to join in. He told officers, I figured he stole stole something or shot somebody. I didn't know what was going on. Later, GBI agent Jason Seacrest testified about this vanity plate, the Confederate flag, a part of the old Georgia state flag. It was on the front of the McMichaels truck in February when they chased down Arbery. Agent Seacrest says someone removed that Confederate plate by the time the GBI searched the McMichaels home in May. You know God gonna deal with them because you know you didn't have to do him like that. And in the back of that truck, Seacrest testified that there was also a blue decal of the old Southern Confederate cross that was attached to a box that was on that truck. So just one more example that was not removed when the GBI showed up to investigate the McMichael's home. There were initials GOB under that cross, but the investigator said he didn't know what that meant. Nonetheless, um, testimony will resume in the morning at 9 a.m. and this trial will go on next week. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse in Brunswick, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. New